Okay guys, so I just got back from work and I'm gonna make one of my favorite breakfast items. Um, I, whenever I go to New York, my favorite thing to get there, I mean, all their food's amazing, but I love their like salmon, lox, and bagel on everything bagel. I don't, I'm remaking that. I've definitely shared this on my channel before in like one, probably one of my first, first videos but it's so good and I was just craving it the other day. I haven't bought the ingredients for it in a long time. By ingredients, I mean the actual smoked salmon. But that was at HEB, I picked it up. So essentially the base of it are just crisp bread. Um, this is the Trader Joe's brand and this is the HEB brand if you don't live, if you don't have a Trader Joe's near here or whatever, HEB, it's a Texas thing. So I do two of these. And then I just mashed an avocado on the, as a base. You could also do whipped cream cheese if you really want that. Bagel vibe, if you obviously are trying not to do dairy, then just do a non-dairy cream cheese. Uh, the Kite Hill one is really good. Also Trader Joe's has a good one too. So I'll do that, but I'm just doing avocado today because I have it and this one's really going bad, so I want to use it. And then thin, thin sliced cucumbers. The thinner, the better. I feel like it's the perfect amount of crunch without being too much. I love onions, so I put raw onion on it. So good. Capers add this perfect brininess to it and it's delicious. And then of course on top, you gotta put some bagel seasoning. Just, I mean, down below if you guys love these kind of uh, lox and bagels too. I've gotten smoked salmon from Trader Joe's and they have the everything bagel one, which is really good too. I really like the pastrami, I think it's called like pastrami smoked one. Um, I shared it in old videos, but we just didn't go to Trader Joe's this week. We went to H-E-B instead. But I also want to try from Trader Joe's the, what is it, like the ahi tuna, the smoked tuna that they have. That would be so good added to our bootleg sushi, okay? I'm going to do it, but I'm just saying that as of right now, that's the new move, okay? So I'm going to bring you down here so you can see. We're gonna do the HEB ones because it says it's everything. And these are my, everything ones are my favorite out of the HEB ones that I've tried. The HEB crisp breads. They do have a gluten free one, but my friend tried it and she said it tasted like cardboard. But also, I feel like not everyone's a fan of these plain. And if you eat them plain, maybe they're not the best. I, I mean, I love them just because I love like grainy bread and seeds and all that. But I can see why other people might not be the biggest fan. That's what they look like. Again, the Trader Joe's ones are also just as good. Probably gonna need to get another avocado because this one is gross. Have to pick around it. I can save certain parts of this. I hate wasting food. Like that is like one of my. Whoa, there's two seeds in this one. All right, so that's that's the end of the road for that one. Got new avocado. This one's also kind of crappy, so I'm just gonna peel around, or basically get this green part. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. We just got these. I swear, I don't know what it is. The Trader Joe's, um, those avocados are from H-E-B. The Trader Joe's teeny tiny avocados are the best ones. I don't know why, they just are. Okay, wow, that was not great. So now I'm just gonna take a fork, Wow, this one shattered on me. Okay, it's real life. Mash it on a flat surface, and then I'm gonna do some thin sliced cucumber. My cucumber condom, gotta cut that off. Like I'm talking like thin. Okay, I like a good thin crisp cuke. And then I just kind of layer them on. I'll show you when I'm done cutting this. Okay, so that's where we're at. Chop some onion thin, placing it on in strips. You can cut them thinner and fancier. I love raw onion though, we know this. So the more the merrier. Next, we're gonna take the capers. I like to put the salmon on the top because it kind of keeps everything blocked underneath. You're gonna take some of these capers and kind of just put them in the crevices of like the onion and everything. I love capers. They give such a good brininess. Mm. They are really necessary if you want that true lox and bagel. So they're on there and now you're gonna take 
your salmon, just kind of fold it over. And then I'm gonna add everything but the bagel seasoning on top. A little tip, if you guys have tried this before, you know that when you get to the bottom of one of the can't jars, it's really, really salty. So what I like to do is I get a new one and I start it. Like I take some of the seasoning out, okay? And then take the top off of one. Oh, hello. And I'll pour the rest of this one into the ne next one and then mix it up. Holy shit. So that it's not all the salt. So the salt can be like distributed evenly. Does, is that so embarrassing that I like have a, a way to do that? But whatever, it's fine. And just kind of shake it up and then the salt will get redistributed throughout the whole thing instead of just being really, really salty at the end. And then you don't have to throw it away and waste it. Okay? All right, anyway. It's a little messy, but here is the focus. Here's the final product. It is so, so good, you guys. If you want that lox and bagel, everything bagel, this is the closest I'm gonna get in Texas at least, so try it out. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna enjoy this because my mouth is watering. Okay, if you guys know, Lumanati's pizza is honestly the best pizza in the entire world. It's Chicago deep dish. My mom sent it for me to me for my birthday. If you didn't know, you can send frozen pizzas. Oh, this is my favorite one, the Lou. It's just a bunch of vegetables, spinach, sliced tomato, mushrooms, and cheese. And then we also got a sausage as well. And these are great because they just stay in your freezer and then you just heat them up here at the directions to preheat. And they taste delicious. I love the one on this pizza. I grew up eating it and it is the best in my opinion. Let me know if you've had it before or if you prefer a different kind, like I know Eduardo's, Giordano's, um, Pequod's is also really, really good. There's a bunch of them, but this is the OG. So, got a package from Ulta, and then also Misery, Misery, but uh, let me just show you what I got in here. This is the card that Matt got me. I'll show you the watch Matt got me as well. Um, I just got some more of my favorite self tan, the tanologist self tan mousse in dark. And then I also tried out, this one's a new one, I've never tried this one, the self tan mousse extra dark express one hour tan. I like this, I like this one because it's clear so it doesn't rub off on my white clothing if I don't wash the entire color guard off. I don't know, it's a random fact. Um, oh, these are really fun. So you guys know how I love to do my own nails, right? Right. I saw these on Ulta's website. They're nail wraps. So I was thinking I could put, obviously you put them on your natural nails, but I could also put them on my acrylics that I do as well. Like look how cute, these three patterns. So there's this one. These like abstract ones are really in right now. And then flowers. Even if I don't want to do them on all the nails, I could just do like a, like a couple accent ones, you know? I don't know. Just quarantine things. Thought it'd be fun to try out. Um, oh. My brother and his wife got me these flowers as well. And then Matt got me these white hydrangeas. And I got, speaking of acrylic nails, I got three more nail glues. If you're going to watch my... I filmed a... Like bougie on a budget at home, nails, makeup, all that. If you know the glue issue, if you watch that video, you will understand why I have three brand new ones. You can never have too many nail glues. I also, in that video, got another one of my favorite lip liners. This is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. And it's Maybelline, it's really cheap. And then they also gave me this for like an added gift. It has a bunch of samples in it. It's all skincare stuff. And we know how I feel about skincare, so. I'm going to try that out. Like, and then I got this package from one of my best friends for my birthday. Let's open it. Fancy thing, you here, single. Oh, happy birthday, boy. You're such a happy, shining light in so many lives, and I'm lucky to have you mind thankful for you every day. I hope this year is the best year yet. Love you, XO, XO, Rach. Thanks, Rach. Oh my god. How cute is that? 
Oh my god. Get it now. Yes, she said I'm a shining light in so many lives. And then she got me this. Let's focus on. Try to link this down below if I can find it. Look how stunning that is. It's so shiny. It's got little stars on it. Thanks, Rach. Okay, let's, I have to text her. I don't know if I've shared this tip before. I know I've shared making or putting protein powder like in a shaker cup in hot coffee. I also like to use just regular protein shakes as creamer in my iced coffee as well. It tastes so freaking good. You know, you get some protein, you get some caffeine, it's delish. Um, so this is what I had, some post-workout, I had this shake, but some coffee. And right now I'm making some lunch. I have shown this before, but I'm gonna make all four of these cauliflower thins. I put some, whoop, I put them in the air fryer, so I'm preheating that right now. Gonna put some garlic dip on the bottom. Honestly, I'm being really lazy today. I don't mind raw onion, but if you wanna get really fancy, saute um, some onion with some like, mushrooms or just any other like spinach or any vegetables you have. I'm gonna do two chicken sausages just sliced in the air fryer as well. So these go in the air fryer. I'm gonna chop this up, put it on here. Bada bing, bada boom, that is the quickest lunch. Not cute, but tastes delish. I have the two cauliflower thins in there. I just do two at a time, because then while I'm eating these, I can put the other ones in to make. And then one chicken sausage. And I, pr sorry, I have my heart rate monitor for, oh my God, the gym I go to is beeping like crazy and I don't understand. Putting that in. I preheated the, my air fryer for, at 400 for like three minutes. You don't have to do that. I just did it because it, Oh my god, that freaking beep. Okay, I need to figure out why that's beeping. All right, so I'm just gonna, let's do like 380 for like five minutes and then I'll come back and check on it to shake. Oh my gosh. All right, so it's been about six minutes. I flipped them at like three minutes each so you can kind of see how they're getting really crispy. These are... You can see how crispy these are in the air fryer. They're great. They get a little, like a little crust. And then obviously the chicken sauce is good too. So I'm gonna pull these. It was six minutes total. Like I said, halfway through, I flipped the two of these and then kind of shook those up to make sure. And then I also decided to cut up an apple. And then I have some of these leftover greens that I'm gonna put on one of them as well. So I'm gonna do one I'm thinking with just like cucumber and some greens and some garlic dip. I don't know, like I said, this is just me trying to use up what we have before it all goes bad. Come on. I forgot to show you guys the final product. I took a boomerang for Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, you guys. I'm back on Instagram, it's a big deal for me. All right? <laughs> Took a little hiatus, but I'm back. Just an apple, two of these, a cauliflower thins, some sausage, garlic dip, some greens, onions, basically throwing whatever I have. Oh, cucumbers as well. Throwing whatever I have on these cauliflower thins and making a little flatbread pizza. For the next batch of the two cauliflower thins, I'm gonna make little cheese pizzas with the other chicken sausage. So I just have some cheese. Ideally, we'd use mozzarella, but like I said, we were running out of everything and just some tomato sauce, marinara pasta sauce. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's check on how this batch is doing. Yep, mm. these are almost done. I'm actually gonna pull these out because I want to build them and then put them back in for another few seconds for the cheese to melt. Okay, so as you can see, I just did a little, a little bit of marinara pasta sauce on the bottom a little sprinkle of cheese and then put the crispy chicken sauce on top. I'm gonna pop this in the air fryer just for one more minute longer. At 380, just to melt the cheese. All right, it's been a minute. Look at that melty deliciousness. And I guarantee if you have kiddos as well, these are perfect, like kid size pizzas. And that, that's the final product. I'm gonna top mine with some of the mixed greens just because I love to get greens in when I can. But you don't have to. You could add some fresh basil on here as well. Like I said, onions, sauteed, vegetables, whatever you have. Look at that. 
Look at that. Yum. For dinner tonight, it's already eight o'clock, so we just wanted something really, really quick. Um, we are gonna make some shrimp sesame sweet Asian salads. So we have these pre-made chopped salad kits from HEB, and then I'm also gonna cut them with just some spring mix to get some darker leafy greens in there, so we'll do half and half. And then I'm just gonna air fry some shrimp to put on top. And I'm preheating my air fryer right now, and then we are thawing, sorry for the dish, <laughs> soft thawing some of the shrimp in there. And this dinner is gonna take maybe 12 minutes from start to finish. So that is the kind of dinner we like. All right, so these are defrosted. I just ran them under cold. I just ran them. I just ran them under cold water for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes or so they became defrosted because they were frozen. And I'm just gonna do a quick seasoning, some ground ginger, garlic powder, onion powder, this mushroom umami seasoning and some black pepper since it is an Asian salad and there is a sesame Asian dressing on there. I just wanna get these crispy in the air fryer and then we will, it'll be really good with the contrast of the crunchy with the sesame dressing on top. So I dried these off. So defrosted them, dried them so the seasonings will stick and then I'll put them in the air fryer and I'll show you that. All right, so here are the scrimps all coated nicely, so. My air fryer preheated. I just do this sometimes when I want to get them really crispy and also like I have time to do it. It's only five minutes. I'm just gonna put them in. You'll hear how they kind of start to crisp up already. Make sure they each have their own little space in the hot tub. And then you're gonna flip them halfway. Okay. My air fryer has a shrimp setting. It's 370 for six minutes. Sometimes the six minutes is too long. So I will um, run it for, I don't know, four minutes flip, and then I'll make sure to check before the time's out. I don't want them to get too tough, because no one likes rubbery scrimps. In the meantime, I'm gonna start putting these in bowls, just like I said, half and half, and then I will use some of the big toppings as well. All right, here are the finished products. So like I said, it's half of the cabbage slaw, with half mixed greens and then we this it came with some wonton strips and some slivered almonds which we put in and then the shrimp and then i just topped it with some of the, everything but the bagel season i put this on everything basically um but the bagel <laughs> you were gonna say that <laughs> and then i used about that much dressing between the both of us and that is our finished salad for dinner right there so delicious. Mm -hmm.